Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick. Well, the Silicon Valley bank collapse has caused shockwaves across the financial services sector and our resident economist, Mark Coleman, joins us now to share his views on this monumental event. While the central banks of the world are right to restore what I call a normal level of interest rates, they should be doing it much more gradually rather than the hasty, rather extreme climb up a cliff that we've seen since July last year. And the result of them not taking that advice is that we saw SVB go bust in the last couple of weeks, prompting what we hope is one isolated example of intervention by the U.S. Fed and the U.S. government to save that bank. It's interesting to note in passing the bondholders there got burnt out, which didn't happen in our country. We're now seeing difficulties in the European banking sector. And if the ECB continues with the pace of rate increases that it has done over the last year, it's hard to rule out banks closer to home getting into difficulty. And if that happens, the rules of the game have very much changed. The public appetite for any public or taxpayer's money being thrown at the banking sector is uh, not only much, much lower than it was back in the previous crisis, and it wasn't very strong in the previous crisis, but also the single supervisory mechanism and the ensuing reforms brought into the governance of the European banking sector since the last crisis now enable bail-ins. So we're in a very different situation. And what were the factors that led to the collapse of SVP Bank? Well, I think it's traditional matching of long-term lending to what is not only a quite potentially volatile sector, the tech sector, but also a sector where valuation is really hard to pin down sometimes because the value of the loans is often dependent on quite abstract concepts of value, also vulnerable to technological change, which can wipe out the value of a particular technology quite quickly. So when you're lending long-term to an industry like that and you're funding that with short-term borrowings against the backdrop of rapidly rising interest rates, uh, you know, you're, <laughs> I'm not saying you're asking for trouble, but you're certainly running a big risk. You're combining, you're doing something that, you know, finance 101, first rule is don't mix, mix high levels of business risk with high levels of finance risk. And for SVP, Unfortunately, they started out in a safe financing environment and they were in a risky business environment. And unfortunately, their financing uh, environment got risky as well. And that's fundamentally what happened. And there are a number of other institutions out there, I won't name them, that I can think of that are in that space. But if the, if the rates continue to go up at the level that they've been going at, you move to a situation of broader risk in the financial markets, broader banking risk where it's not the high-tech, highly leveraged Silicon Valley firm that is in trouble. It's the mom-and-pop store. It's the factory that's making goods for average consumption that's suddenly hit by a dramatic slowdown in broad uh, consumer demand. And that's what we're really facing now. And by the way, it has to be said, Carl, these interest rates, rate rises, they are, excuse me, needed in the long term to recalibrate monetary policy rates were too low for too long. But in terms of the speed of increase in the last two years, I honestly don't believe they're going to bring down the rates of inflation. The rates of inflation will come down for other reasons. They'll come down because the price of oil is coming down. They'll come down because supply chain conditions coming from Asia are improving. That's going to happen anyway. So the question is, why inflict unnecessary pain on the European consumer and business if the inflation problem is going to sort itself out anyway? That's a debate that needs to happen around the governing council of the European Central Bank. Well, that was a resident economist, Mark Coleman, and I'd like to thank Mark for sharing his views on the Silicon Valley Bank with us this morning. Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick. Southeast.